Hello and welcome back to Regimentals YouTube channel. Today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you a preview of a massive collection that we have been consigned. The collection um, has been in the UK since the 1970s and 80s. Uh, the collector, I think, stopped buying stuff um, around about the late 80s. So, um, as you can imagine, the collection was 90% all original items. Uh, a few copies that were, you know, like the real 1960s copies, obviously we eliminate them uh, from the collection straight away. We will be um, putting onto our website all of the original items um, in the coming weeks. So the point of today's video is just to, um, you know, just to stun you really with the amount of items that we've got coming in. It's mostly daggers and badges. There's um, over 165 blades here, swords, bayonets and daggers. Um, as you can see, my mate, Adolf here, uh, one and a half uh, times life size Adolf Hitler heads. They are always really popular with collectors. Um, and um, I'm going to show you now um, all of the badges. There's hundreds of badges and uh, pieces of insignia also in the collection. So here we have all the medals, badges and insignia from this collection. Um, as you can see, the condition of them is pretty much the same throughout. And in amongst the stuff, there's some really rare pieces, some things that we haven't had for quite a long time. So I'm just going to run through very quickly some of the items um, that are here on the table, and then I'll show you some of the insignia as well. So, I mean, for example, um, the uh, RAD patrol gorget, I haven't had one of those for a very long time. There's an uh, NSKOV gorget, there's two political gorgets, there's three German crosses in gold in cloth, this is probably one of the nicest parts of the collection. There's four original honor roll clasps. There's the Navy, the Luftwaffe, and the Army honor roll clasp. And there's also a spare ribbon as well. All of them are original. There is a number 50 tank assault badge, and there's two original Panzer tank destruction bars. It's been quite a long time since I've actually had or seen an original tank destruction bar. There's also some very rare um, Indian badges for the Indian volunteers, for the Azad Hind. Um, and there is a very rare um, internal section of a Knight's Cross citation. There's also two pieces here, which I'm still trying to decipher whether they're original or not. So it's still in question. There's a blood order, a mounted blood order, and a um, Himmler honor ring. So those are still in question. I need to get some more advice on whether they're original or not. So right in front of me here um, are some of the, the nicer medals and badges. There's the, um, the Knight's Cross to the War Merit Cross. There are three German crosses in gold. And then here are the NSDAP uh, Faithful Service Awards. These are the 15-year awards and there are two 25-year awards. Now the 25-year ones are really rare and I've got both grades here. The thin version and the thick version. Also with the 15 years I've got the thick and the thin versions as well. So they are always very popular with collectors. Just looking across the table here I've also just noticed a cased um, Spanish cross in silver with swords. Another really nice badge. So I'm just gonna run through some of the insignia. Um, it's, it's spread all over the room here. There's quite a lot to see. So I'll show you some of those pieces now. One of the best pieces in the collection is this Luftwaffe Honor Goblet. It's an alpaca version and it's um, designated to Feldwebel Horst Karlip, uh, dated 1942. Uh, the uh, Luftwaffe Honor Goblet is always very popular with both collectors of awards and uh, people that specifically collect Luftwaffe items. So that is one of the prize pieces in the collection. So um, as you can see, um, 
lots of things, um, lots of things to go onto our website. Um, I wanted to say um, we had a really good response from our last video being the Louisville um, SOS show travel vlog. We managed to sell four, four or five items direct from the YouTube video. Um, but people, they, they see the items on the video and they ask for photographs or ask for prices. In this case, because there are so many items, it will be very difficult for us to send you photographs or prices um, of, of, of certain items. If I can help you, I will do my very best to. Um, but I will admit that um, replying to emails at the moment is one of my um, one of my difficulties. I don't seem to have much time on my hands to do so. So um, please bear with us. And um, if I haven't responded to your email, um, I do apologize. Um, I've got lots going on, um, both with these large collections and also with what's going on um, outside of Militaria as well. I also own a restaurant in my local town and we're upgrading the restaurant to a larger premises and um, the work for that has been going on for the last six months and is coming to fruition in the next two to three weeks so I'm slightly distracted from um, running that uh, business as well. Also my wife is due to give birth to um, um, our child on the next well in the next two to three weeks so that will obviously keep me away from, from work as well so things will be very difficult in the, in the coming weeks. Um, one of the things I wanted to um, mention about trialling, um, as I said, replying to emails and sending photographs to people is always very time consuming. And one of the things I want to tr try and do, and I'd be interested to know your feedback on it, is um, I'm thinking of making um, appointment slots where people can call us on a FaceTime call. Now FaceTime is a, a platform where you can view items live. It's, it's a live, live uh, video call and in that video I would be able to hold an item, show you uh, the item, show you inside, outside, around the back. All the, all the aspects that you want to see, you can ask me questions about it on the call and you get to see that item um, on a live video call. And from there, if, if the item is satisfactory, you can even make payment live uh, whilst the call is happening. So um, I'm thinking of trialing that in the next coming weeks. Um, I haven't finalised the plan for it yet. Um, and um, yeah, so the other thing is, is that our subscriber list on the YouTube channel is now at 900. So we're 100 uh, subscribers away from hitting 1000. So um, as you can see uh, from the amount of sales we get from the YouTube videos, um, it's really worth subscribing because you will get notified straight away when we've uploaded a video. Um, therefore, you'll get to see the items and you will be one of the first people to get to to uh, try, try and buy those items. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and uh, please inform your friends and collector friends who haven't subscribed that they can also subscribe as well. So we're trying to hit a thousand, thousand subscribers um, in the month of March, um, but it might be April. So um, thanks for watching the video. Um, there will be um, no update today, Friday, the 1st of March. Um, our next update will be, the, I think, the 8th of March, Friday. Um, hopefully some of these items might make it onto the update. Um, a lot of the items we bought in America will be on there. It will be a very large um, update and you can view all of those items on www.regimentals.co.uk. Also don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook.